Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. This is another episode in our continuing series of content designed to give you guys a little bit of infotainment during the coronavirus um, outbreak 2020. Stay at home, stay in your house, don't go outside, don't have any fun except for what's on YouTube, shit like that. I don't know what we're calling it. But there's a lot of people who are uh, hunkered down and uh, as long as we have bandwidth and aren't sick, we're going to keep making videos for you guys. And today we're going to put binding onto this uh, daily driver neck. And uh, I got some binding from my buddies at Stumac. And I also have something that I have not really tried very much. And that is the Stumac Bind All Glue. Um, but first, a little bit of background. So as you know, these are kind of deep dive videos because um, we're just wanting to... Like I say, we're wanting to uh, give you guys something to watch. So these are extended videos with not a lot of editing. Um, basically, back in the old days, we would hack these things all up and make them shorter. But we figure, eh, you know what? If you got free time and you're willing to watch them, we'll just go ahead and make the videos the full length unless there's something really dumb we have to cut out. <laughs> okay, so today, like I said, we're going to put binding on this neck. We're going to use cream ABS binding from, yeah, from our friends at Stumac. Um, let's see. One of the things that uh, if you have been watching the channel for a while, you know that I like to use the acetone that I keep in this little container and a uh, plastic syringe that is right here in my right hand for, for binding, and it works really well. So I've been kind of experimenting with bind all a little bit since this weekend. Um, and so we're going to show you guys what we think of this stuff. Uh, full disclosure, I bought this from Stumac. I didn't get anything free from Stumac uh, for this video. Um, uh, but as you know, I'll shill for just about anybody uh, if the price is right. <laughs> so anyway, this is, um, yeah, so bind all. Uh, this topic is sort of an extension of our online training that we had last weekend where we bound the body of um, the daily driver with the trucker girl. Uh, um, F hole and um, so it's about time for an online training uh, we're gonna start working on next and I thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a quick video about about necks and binding um, because I think they're cool to have so I've done a few necks with bind all and um, the first one I, I put the binding on and then I glued it down and then I then I you know bent it and then I glued it and then I put binding bit and then I the next one I did, I pre-bent everything and then glued it on. I'm not sure which way I like better. Um, man, this stuff gets all over my hands because I am messy mat when it comes to glue. But um, I think I like the idea of kind of putting some binding glue down and then pressing the, the binding in and then bending it. So we're going to go with that. So let's get started. Oh wait, I said it wrong. Enough with the bullshit talk, let's get to work. All right, so I got my neck. I got a piece of surgical tubing, which we might use. I got my tape. This is my super cool tape. Everybody everybody forgets to read this, or they read it and they don't care. All right. Okay, I got my bind all, got a block, got my heat gun ready to go. Let's get down to it. So the, um, the treble side of the necks on fenders don't have anything that you need they're they're straight so we're just going to go ahead and um and run a bead of this bind all down the uh down the side of the neck here and that's gonna whoa that's gonna gush out all over the place ask me how i know man see i told you i was messy with this stuff okay all right so now it's a simple matter just pressing this stuff down and securing it in place while the glue sets up, which takes two minutes. According to the um, according to the tube, it says you got two minutes of work time. That's a lot of time, you know. If you don't dilly dally, okay. So I tell you guys what, so one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm not going to 
interrupt the video and um, and edit it all together because like I said I want these videos to kind of be long while everybody is kind of doing their thing staying in quarantine um, but um, what the hell was I gonna say uh, okay so that looks pretty good um, we're, we're nice and glued down to the side here everything is tucked into the fretboard and to the neck so now we're gonna get my heat gun fired up and we're gonna bend it around the um, this first bend and uh, it's gonna be neat okay I really like to let gravity help me with this so I've got my uh, binding is is being pulled by gravity towards the floor my neck is off to the side here so I can just heat that up and everything will uh, flow like it's supposed to I'll get my heat gun fired up here I'm gonna try to talk over all this stuff guys because I don't want to edit it I don't want to you know add a bunch of tunes or, or anything like that so um, again the whole concept of these videos during these trying times is that I show you guys what is available and uh, we don't edit it way down and so that way you get as much of me talking as you can stand which probably isn't very much okay so you can see the bindings just sort of doing its thing and you kind of want to watch it and see when it starts softening up and then I like to take a block because this stuff is hot it's super hot plastic and kind of Stick it down and hold it while everything cools off. Okay? You can kind of you can kind of rock the block around that uh, contour there. Alright, that looks pretty decent. Now we have to come over to this side and fold the binding back this way. So we're going to do the exact same thing and just keep hot, yeah okay there we go, just keep heating it up until it relaxes the binding enough to uh, bend around that corner. You can, you can actually feel it, feel it loosening up if you hold it out here like I'm doing. Um, you can see it right there, right? Okay, there we go. So now we're going to keep heating it up a little so we can press it with the piece of wood. Ow, ow, hot, hot, hot. Okay, there we go, there we go. Woo, remember when I said that was hot? I wasn't lying. Okay, and I got a bump right here. We're going to have to heat that up and take it out, but you get the idea. Okay, so now I'm gonna, everything is, is mostly cool. I'm gonna tug the, um, tug the binding as much toward the headstock as I can. So when I heat this area up, see I got a little bit of a bump right there. I wanna take care of that. I wanna heat it and mash it down against the neck. And then we should be done monkeying around with, um, uh, with the heat gun. Well, maybe we need to do some more at the headstock. We'll see. Okay. Just gonna heat that bitch up. And now, because because there's no gravity tugging on it, we kind of have to just go by what looks right. And fortunately, ow, shit. I think we got it. And we're just gonna hold it right there until until everything cools off. And then when it's cool, it will stay um, in place, if you know what I mean. Okay. This corner here has a little bit of a little bit of a gap. We want to take care of that while we. It's easy to do. I'm just going to heat that corner. And. You guessed it, I'm going to kind of smush it with this block so I don't have to do it with my fingers. Okay. And that's probably good. We're only heating up a little patch. 
All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so remember, we're glued on this side and we're bent all the way around the heel. And now we've got this obscene looking thing dangling off. We can cut most of that back. Um, it's just going to go to make sure we got enough left over to go around the rest of the neck because it's easier, it's a little more manageable. So now what we have to do is we have to glue this section and this section. Like I said, normally what I would do is I would wick acetone into this. Um, the nice thing about wicking acetone in is it, it goes into a tight place. You don't have to mash, you don't have to tug the, the binding away and push glue in there. Well, you'll see. Okay. So what we're going to have to do now, we can pull this tape off, is we're going to have to get glue in this patch here and then all the way down the, um, the base side of the neck. There's this little bend here, and I think what we can do is we can get binding glue on there and just kind of mash it down. I think that will work. Um, okay, so now, though, we have to get binding glue in here somehow. And I think, again, guys... I wasn't really into models as a kid. I mean, supermodels, yeah. I had the Christy Brinkley crap. I had I had all those um, those posters of Christy Brinkley and Kathy Ireland, of course, like every guy did. Um, but yeah, when it comes to like making modeled cars and stuff, I think if you guys have um, more experience than I do, woo, with model glue, this will um, be considerably easier because you have skills that I don't have. Okay, God, that looks drunk. All right, this is not an indictment of the Stumac bind all, by the way. This is an indictment of Matt's ability to put glue on a piece of wood. Okay. <laughs> All right, I wanna get that in the picture because I think it's funny. Okay. I bet you the guy at Crimson Guitars doesn't do this. He's good at everything. So I wonder what they use. I'm sure they have something awesome and they're better than me in every way. I get so many questions and comments. Have, you ever, have I ever seen the guys at Crimson Guitars? Yeah, I've seen them. I'm sure they're cool dudes. I, I don't know any of those guys. Um, you know, they live in a different country than I do. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna get some tape here. And now, like I said, we got this little patch here. I think what can happen is when that glue gets on there, um, it'll actually kind of melt the binding a little bit. And we can, um, we can kind of bend it and help, help the adhesion process. And then, uh, yeah, it's actually bending pretty well. We could probably tape that down. Let's see. Ah, all right, you son of a bitch. Now the trouble with that is I'm not sure if we, uh, I can't see it, you know? So, okay, let's try that, and then let's wrap it with some of this surgical tube to just kind of help keep everything snug against the, the neck and the fretboard. And somewhere there is a kid with a busted wrist rocket who's bummed out that I bought the last of the surgical tubing. All right, so not too bad. What do I think of the Stumac bind all? It's pretty neat. Um, you should have some of this in your toolkit. And the reason that I say that is not all binding is soluble in acetone. Where's my acetone? So I still really like this, this applicator and, and uh, binding melting stuff. Um, just because I've got a lot of practice with it and I've gotten to the point where I know what to expect. But I think if I had a little more time with bind all, that would be, uh, I, I would like it just as well. Now, this is kind of an expensive tube of glue compared to 
$16 for a gallon of acetone. Um, but like I said, uh, there's some binding that, that acetone just won't touch. Um, specifically, this really neat binding that I've used from all parts that has like white, black, white, or black, white, black, and it's like all part, it's like all together, and it's 60 thousandths uh, thick, and man, it's neat to work with. But acetone won't touch it. So the first time I used it, I used super glue on it. And um, that worked, but I think uh, my friend Brian Nutter uh, told me that this stuff worked really well for that. So, um, by the way, I hear Brian is, is feeling a little better today. So um, if you guys are trying to follow what's going on with Brian, send him some love and keep him in your thoughts. And, um, uh, you know, if you are friends with him on Facebook, leave him a message, stuff like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and wrap this one up because I got lots and lots more to do in the shop. So if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to do this online, you can sign up for our online classes at our website. And that's www.texastoastguitars.com under classes. Uh, if you want to come out here and take a class from us, we are, our doors are always open and we've got classes going all the time. Make sure to check out our class page often and sign up for a class. If you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys cool content like this. But if you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. If you want to help us grow the channel in other ways, you can always share this video as many places as you can think of. That really helps a lot. So until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching.